Flames, my name is Eileen and today I'm back on another Identity 5 video and today I'll be showcasing the new skin that Dream Witch just got from the Junjo Ito event in some high tier rank gameplay. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so let me show off the skin first. It's a really cool skin. I like it a lot. That's the little standby emote that I got. That's by far my favorite skin for Dream Witch. And Dream Witch is my favorite hunter, so I had to buy it. But it's a really good skin. Before I get into the gameplay, I do want to plug my Discord server. The link will be in the pinned comment below, as well as in the description below. So go click the link and join the server today. Before I get into the gameplay, let me put this on cellular so that it doesn't disconnect in the middle of the uh in the middle of the whatever you call it, the news the replay <laughs> in the middle of the replay <laughs> okay so let's just um 10 minute game nine minute let's do a I forgot which one is a good game let's just do the eight minute game so the dream Wish sky is still coming out i'm going to make uh, 120 persona video about the best builds for every hunter tomorrow and then the dream witch guy will follow shortly after so i'm facing perfumer mercenary enchantress and mechanic this is the build i'm using so i found the enchantress I love that new um, animation she does when she leeches a survivor, it's just so cool. I put the servant there because she got trapped in, so she will kept going, she would got hit, so instead she didn't, and because of that, I still got a free hit. Purposely steered the servant away from me so that it would now follow me. But this is the her follower was there and Enchantress stacks against each individual servant. So she can stack five against one servant, but if you switch to a servant she hasn't stacked against, then she can't stun you. So that's just a neat trick against Enchantress. I put my spawn follower to camp. And then I put my leech follower to patrol because you want to hit with the leech and then you want to hit, hit with the leech first and then hit with the spawn. So that way the leech follower doesn't get um, used up and you have to leech her again. Mech saves with tide. Now I'm just, you just try and leech as many people as you can. I don't need to worry about Enchantress because my follower will follow her after her tie turner is gone. So what I'm going to do now is leech the mechanic and put at that cypher so that she gets away from the cypher. I have basement which dream which is pretty OP with basement. And I am using, uh, don't know if you saw, I am using trump card. So that's something to keep in mind. Now I'm just moving the two followers. I'm moving the spawn to camp. I'm moving the leech to patrol. Now I'm just looking for the mercenary. He's coming that way. He's looking in the wrong direction. Got terror shock since he had to make the save. He couldn't have waited to save, um, and just taken the hit because 
she would have died. So now I'm going to go leech the mercenary now. So now the mech is there. The perfumer cipher is done now. So there's one cipher left. And mech's decoding it with her bot. So this is when I know I can't camp because it's a mercenary. So if I camp, the cipher is going to be finished by then. So what I'm going to do now is switch to abnormal and then just take away the progress on the cipher. He did make the save. I'm not trying to hit the mercenary because that's going to take away my servant. So I'm actually just trying to hit the perfumer. Because what you always want to do as a dream witch is make every single person one hit. You want to just keep hitting survivors so that they have to heal up, they don't have time to decode, and no one can make the next save. So now that cypher, that's the cypher they were priming. Now that that's reset, again, that cypher is basically over. So now Mech's going to move to a different cypher. But... I move off my servant so that she doesn't get the alert that I'm close to her. Uh, and now I want to hit mechanic, so now she's one hit. So that makes just someone else. That makes every single person one hit and unable to make a save. Makes my job a lot easier. Now at this point, no cipher. They're, that's the cipher they're going to try and do now but I have abnormal so I can just abnormal this cipher too which is exactly what I do so now every single cipher is basically at nothing and I kill the perfumer everyone's one hit except the merc who at one hit can still make a save and now there's not much they can do because mech lost her bot and two people are injured. So the game's over basically at this point. And they could have won. I mean, they could have tied, but abnormal trump card's really good. Um, that abnormal really saved the game right there. Double hit the Merc and now put him on the chair. <laughs> look at, I love this skin so much. I love the accessory, the shadow doll. It doesn't really, you can't see it on her other skin. Like it just gets absorbed in. You can't really see the accessory. But on this skin, you can just see it so well. The servant just looks so good too. The schoolgirl, I love this skin. Definitely worth it. So, the mech ended up getting dungeon. Uh, so, the, I won the game. I don't need to show that, so let's just get into the next round. Um, 9, 18, 10, 08. You see the 10, 08 match, the 10 minute match. Okay, yeah, this is Moonlit. Mechanic, Mercenary, Magician, Lawyer. This is the build I'm using. It's trump card again, but you don't need the pallet breaking speed or moonlit, so you go wanted order and you go um, into berserker. I'm lagging super bad in this game. I have like 200 to 300 ping the entire game, <clears throat> which makes me miss so many hits, but. As you'll see later, I think it still turned out fine, but it definitely is annoying when you have that ping when her hitbox is already bad, and then on top of that, you have 200 300 ping, it just makes it worse. 
like some points it went down to the hundreds which was good but it stayed around like 180 or 90 most of the game so i killed the lawyer now i'm gonna leech the magician because now i have two leeches you just want to stack as many leeches as you can and it also takes the magician off of his cypher by leeching him I get the wanted order on the mercenary. I can see him. I switch to this leech. Try to get the hit. See, like, I just lagged right there, but he bounce pads away. I do end up double hitting the mercenary, which is all that really matters is if you can double hit the merc and then hit back down the other survivor, which I did. Oh, actually I did, I hit back the merc again, the body block. But I end up killing the merc anyway. I mean the lawyer anyway. So now I'm going to leech the lawyer and put him back on the chair. And I'm also going to put the mercenary on the chair. Because you can multitask really well with her. And you can just camp both chairs now. <laughs> Mechanics decoding with the bot. And the magician just finished his cypher. I had the leech on the magician, so now I'm going to hit him because I'm going to make him one hit. So now he's not really going to be able to save because he's too scary. He's going to die because he's one hit. So the mechanic's coming. I hit the chair. And now I'm, the lawyer's dead on chair, so that's what I'm worried about. The magician saved the mercenary. But I wasn't worried about it because I just need to finish this lawyer down and get someone out the game. I leeched a mechanic because if I leeched a lawyer, that leech would have been useless. Because as soon as he dies, the leech goes away. So I leeched the mechanic so I can chair him with that leech. But it will still be useful for the game. But what happened was they quickly... Um, took it away they quickly took away the leech so i had to wait for my spawn follower to come <gasps> mechanic cypher is almost done now and magician cypher he just started on that one so once you kill one person and you're like at this two cyphers one cypher remaining thing this is usually when you will start to switch the trump card so that's why I did I switch um, to teleport so that I can just stop these, stop these ciphers from being decoded. Mercenary is making a little bit of progress on his cipher. So I'm going to go and try and stop this cipher too. The magician's win it and has a leech, so he can't really do his cipher because I'll hit him whenever he does the cipher. So now I'm just trying to get the merc off. Getting that hit right there. Now the magician illusions. But I don't want to really kill him because then he could use exit path and just keep decoding the cipher. So I want to really like stall it out and prolong it to where I keep scaring him off until I get to a point to where like now I can kill him. Because teleport is because Merc's down at this point. So now I can kill him. Because I have the time and teleport has 15 seconds left. So if he gets up, I can teleport to his cypher and leech him again. But if I kill him too quick, then 
I won't have that ability. So you really want to manage it correctly. See, like exactly the magician got up. Now I'm going to teleport to the cipher, reach him. Uh, since the mech's controlling, I missed on purpose. Uh, completely on purpose, I missed because that's the leech, and mech is not one hit. So I don't want to actually hit the mechanic really because the merc is up, the merc will just heal her up. So, um, I didn't want to hit her. Now, in hindsight, it would have worked since they took off the leech. I, it's better that she actually got hit than nothing. But, of course, they didn't know they was going to take off the leech. So, I didn't want to hit her. I just wanted to scare her off so that I could kill her doll, which is what happened. It's able to kill the doll. That cypher is being rushed down. Almost done. Now I know it's prime. I'm waiting for my spawn to come because this one, if I hit, it would have gone away. So now that I hit with the spawn follower, it doesn't go away. Kill the merc. I'm a dream witch with multiple servants and teleport. It really does not matter that there's three people alive when the ciphers are done. This is still a very, very winnable game. Um, because of the servants I have and the fact that I have teleport. I also love her teleport animation too. really nice the way she kind of like glitches out and then teleport it's so cool so at this point game is basically over um i'm just finishing off the last kills do have a leech on the mechanic so I can just leave her it doesn't matter because I'll it'll follow, it'll follow her wherever she goes now what I'm doing is I'm going to the second roller coaster so that I'll bait him to use the roller coaster and then when he gets to my side I'll switch to the main body and then I'll leech him on the second stop Right now, Mech's going to that gate, but really doesn't matter because the leech is just going to follow her. And she's dead and already used exit path. So now the magician took the coaster and I'm here at the second stop, ready to leech him. My spawn's coming up the stairs so he gets scared. And now I'm just gonna bait him to take the vault. And he's dead, and that's a win, GG. That'll be all for the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel. That'll be all for the video. Bye.